the idea behind this piece is um, every journey has a starting point. For most people, that starting point is, is home. Now, every now and then it's good to leave the safety and comfort of home in order to explore the, the greater world around you. Whether that's, you know, literally leaving home to go on vacation, if it's, uh, you know, leaving a job to start a new career, or, you know, just uh, abandoning old preconceived ideas and thought structures uh, to sort of see the world around you in a new way. Because really that's what the journey is all about, right? It's about being able to see the world from a different perspective than from where you started. So I've got the koi leaving the safety and the confines of his little lily pad field to explore the great wide open. But then on top of that, I've actually got the lily pads leaving the safety and confines of the, of the picture frame itself. So it's sort of a double interpretation depending on who you see yourself as. For me, a lot of my pieces are actually uh, self-portraits. This is very much me leaving the safety and comfort of gainful employment in order to explore this, this whole art world and doing something different with it. Uh, gilding is normally used as um, the embellishment to some other form of art. It's always you know, on a sculpture or you know, on you know, furniture details or architectural elements. Uh, on picture frames, um, even when it's even when it's mixed into paintings, uh, the end result is still painting with gold leaf on it. Uh, gold leaf never gets um, used as a standalone art form by itself. Uh, and as a professional gilder, that just sort of bothered me. I took everything I knew about gilding, and I started making images using nothing but layers of gold leaf, copper leaf, silver leaf, brass leaf and treating the different metals with different acid washes to make them oxidize different colors. So nowhere on my image uh, is there any paint pigment of any kind. It's, it's a pure expression of, of gilding and chemical patination. All the whites are anywhere from 12 karat white gold to 15 karat. Uh, the yellows are 18 karat to 23 karat. The background all comes from, uh, I think it's a mis mismatch of uh, silver and brass and copper treated with um, sulfurated potash. The greens themselves actually come from uh, come from copper too. You know how like if you leave a copper sculpture outside for too long it'll turn green? That's where my greens come from. Uh, I just do it chemically quickly instead of waiting a couple of years outside. 